Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to temporarily root your Verizon Note 4, unlock the bootloader, and then install permanent root. Let's go do this, baby. Alright guys, so before we begin, the first thing you will need is a micro SD card. Uh, make sure you format it. Uh, put one in there. It can be any micro SD card. Make sure um, you don't have any data in there because it's will get lost later, right? Also, this method uh, will work on Android 5.1.1 or lower. I have not tried it on 6.0.1, it might work, so long as if you can get King Oru to work. All right, and the first thing you will do um, is download EMMC Brick Bug Check. All right, go ahead and open this app. And if your CID starts with 15, you can do this. If it doesn't start with 15, um, stop this right now and it will not work on your phone. All right, with that said, also back up everything on your phone, all right? Back up everything before you begin um, because uh, you may need to do a factory reset later. You may lose everything. So first thing you wanna do is go into settings, all right? Also go to about phone and check your Android version number. All right, I got Android 5.1.1, obviously. You know, if you're not on 5.1.1, you may wanna just update to 5.1.1 because this guide is for 5.1.1. If you're on 6.0.1, it might work. You can go ahead and try it. You have nothing to lose. Just back up everything before you try it. All right, next you're gonna go find build number. Hit it a bunch of times until it says developer mode has been turned on. Hit the back button, go to developer options. Also another thing, make sure reactivation lock is off. Otherwise it'll mess up everything. It'll mess up your phone. All right, um, also USB debugging. Make sure it's checked on. All right, that's all we need to do. And next, go ahead and also download um, Root. All right, go ahead and download Root Checker. And this is because you may want to install it before rooting, because uh, while rooting, you may lose uh, the ability to type on your keyboard. Um, that's installed, all right? Also, you'll need King O Root. You can use King Root if it works for you, but uh, I, for me, it didn't work. So go ahead and download King O Root. Um, just go ahead and type Kingo root and you'll come to just go to kingoapp.com. All right, go ahead and ah, go ahead and download for Android and this should download uh, the file. Say okay. All right, they also have the desktop version. If you have trouble with the mobile version, you can go ahead and try it with the desktop version. Um, but if you're using 5.1.1, it should work fine. Go ahead and click on that. Go to settings. Hit unknown sources. Hit okay. Next, next, install, accept. All right, that will install it. All right, don't open it yet. We're gonna go ahead and set up our ADB because we gotta do the one on the computer real fast. So go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. And let's go to our computer. All right, next you'll need to download a bunch of files. All right, um, go ahead and download Odin v3.10.6 zip unzip it you'll get a folder with a bunch of files also download samsung usb drivers um, if you have not installed that before go ahead and uh, install it all right also download samsung underscore un unlock uh, n4-2 um, also download uh, fastboot.zip go ahead and unzip it extract all files you'll get a folder over fastboot with all the files in it now do right click copy on samsung unlock n4-2 and copy it into the fastboot folder and paste it in here. And you'll see I've got it copied over already. Um, also, you need beta super su blah blah dot zip. That's all the files you need. All right, next, what you're gonna do is go ahead and open up a command prompt. So go ahead and type cmd under uh, start search. Now, if you're using Mac or Linux, you do not need drivers installed. You just need to open a terminal. If you don't know how to do that, go Google it. Also, I will have the commands you have to type for Mac or Linux. Go refer to my site and you can refer to that instead of this. But this is for Windows. I'm um, go ahead and type CD downloads. Go ahead and type CD fastboot. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and type ADB devices. All right, while that's working, um, go to your phone, type ADB devices, and you may see allow USB debugging. Hit always allow this computer and hit OK. All right, very important, do that. And go ahead and type ADB devices. You should see uh, device under attach. 
See that right there? All right, you're good to go. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and type uh, these commands here, ADB push Samsung unlock uh, to data temp. So do a copy and paste of that. Have a, a notebook open like this and you can go ahead and copy over the commands. All right, that will copy over the stuff we need. Now let's go back to our phone. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and run Kingo root. All right, go ahead and click one click root. All right, if this has root succeeded, go ahead and open up a uh, root checker right away and ver hit verify root. All right, if you get sorry, you can go ahead and try again. Go ahead and try verify again. Sometimes um, it takes the second time because temp root slows down your whole system. All right, if you're not getting anything, try going to your command prompt and go ahead and type adb um, devices. All right, you should say, see that? Go ahead and type adb shell. You should see cell and go ahead and type su and it actually worked, all right? Um, so once that's worked, you want to copy these commands super quick. So copy and paste all of these commands real quick, all right? If you don't see the pound sign, um, try rebooting and trying the process uh, from Kingo root again. And watch out for any super user request windows. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and enter this. And you're gonna have to say yes here. Just do this real quick, all right? And this will try to unlock your bootloader. All right, um, your phone will not reboot yet. Let me go ahead and adjust the camera. Let's see if that worked. And we're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and power. All right, and then go ahead and hit out volume up. And then if you see uh, this, you can see my bootloader has been unlocked. Developer mode. All right, so we unlocked it. Now, if you don't see this mode, developer mode, go ahead and reboot your phone, uh, reroute using Kingo root, and repeat this process. Sometimes it may take a while, um, so don't worry about it. Just try that uh, again. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back into my computer in this download mode. Now for this Odin mode, you will need a uh, Windows computer, unfortunately. All right, next what you wanna do uh, is go ahead and go ahead and double click on Odin and go ahead and double click on Odin 3 uh, program, all right? Next, we're gonna go ahead and flash the twerp. So go ahead and choose AP, go to your download folder and choose the twerp uh, dash 3.0.2-0 dash TREltvzw. This is a twerp. You're gonna go ahead and hit start, all right? And when, as soon as this starts rebooting, we're gonna hold down volume da uh, up, center home, and power like this. All right, volume up, center home, and power. And that will boot you into recovery booting. If you don't see that, just pull the battery, um, put it back in and do the buttons, and you should now be in twerp recovery. And boom shakalaka, baby. All right, guys, first thing you will wanna do is go into wipe, go to advanced wipe, choose micro SD card, and you're gonna wipe it. All right, this will format your micro SD card. You will have to do that, all right? And next, you will also have to reinstall um, the stock firmware. Now, if you're using uh, 5.1.1, I have the files. Um, so go ahead and go to reboot, download. And let's go to our computer. We're gonna go ahead and connect it back to our computer. All right, if you don't do, do this, you'll end up in a boot loop. So go ahead and um, download System only and 910v 5.1.1.tar. Now this is also how you can uh, unroot your device. This only includes system files um, except for the bootloader. So go ahead and run Odin. All right, go ahead and run it. And you're gonna go ahead and choose that file uh, here. All right, system only and 910v 5.1.1.tar. This is the system file. Uh, go ahead and hit start. This is basically a um, system file without the bootloader, so you can keep your twerp, and it will also give you a fresh 5.1.1 uh, system, so you can go ahead and uh, root it and use it. it I found that uh, if you try to reboot it, you'll end up in a bootloader. That's why I made a separate uh, method to also unroot 
um, you back to stock system later on if you want to go back to stock, all right? But when Android 6.0.1 is available, I'll also make a system uh, image without the bootloader so you don't lose uh, your lock bootloader, your unlock bootloader. Now, if you flash the regular Verizon retail image, you will have to go through this process again and you will lose your developer edition unlock bootloader. So never ever flash a full stock uh, tar file, stock firmware of Verizon Note 4. Only flash uh, just the system, all right? System files. Um, you can go ahead and check out my, my site at galaxynote4root.com. That's where I'll post all of them under stock firmware. Anyway, I'll be back when this is done. All right, you will come back to twerp. All right, go ahead and simply reboot system. Hi hey guys, at this point, if you don't want root or you're installing another custom ROM, you can go ahead and straight up and do it. Uh, or if you want to root stock 5.1.1, you will need a custom kernel and also super SU. So copy over beta super SU and Oscar kernel um, to your phone. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy over beta super SU and Oscar kernel to my phone. And then now let's go to our phone and we can do the rest on our phone here. All right, let's go ahead and reboot into recovery, volume up, center home and power. All right, it took me quite a while to realize that you need a custom kernel and super SU to make a boot. Um, that's just the way it is on 5.1.1 ROMs. Go to install, go ahead and install the Oscar kernel. All right, I tried a multi-system, but that was actually for 5.1.1 and I ended up in the boot loop. Uh, and then go ahead and install beta super SU. All right, and go ahead and reboot system. And you should have a fully rooted uh, Gal Verizon Galaxy Note 4 on Android 5.1.1. Now, if you're on 6.0.1, it's slightly different. Um, so I'll have to show you that another time. Basically, you'll have to format system in advanced wipe, do a factory reset, install opt, uh, no verify, and crypt.zip, and then install SuperSU and reboot. That, those are the different directions. I'll put them in writing in my site just in case some of you get it working on Android 6.0.1. Um, but if it does work, I will also have another tutorial using step-by-step -step tutorial using 6.0.1. But I've now rebooted and go ahead and check um, Super SU and Boom Shakalaka. All right, let's go ahead and check. We have full roots. You can go ahead and download uh, Titanium Backup app. Now, I don't actually advise you to use the stock rooted ROM because it sucks. Um, the, I would totally recommend Dr. Keaton's ROM. I'll have tutorial on that next. Uh, it's actually the exact same tutorial as Sprint probably, but I obviously I don't have a Verizon Note 4 that has an unlock bootloader. Now I do to test it out and I can test it out for you and uh, actually give you the whole thoughts. So if it does work, I'll just have an overview, but uh, the installation, the files are exactly the same uh, for Sprint Note 4, which I actually used off of Verizon Note 4, um, so it should work just fine. And here's the moment of the truth. After all that, we got root boom shakalaka, baby. Um, so now you should have a fully rooted Verizon Note 4. Um, remember, if you need to return back to stock firmware, if you end up in a boot loop, you can use the system 5.1.1 firmware or the 6.0.1 firmware. I will post it on my site. I will also have it in the tutorial for this. Do not ever use the retail version, otherwise you'll have to re repeat this whole tutorial. Um, it actually took me uh, like a whole week to get it because King O Root won't work, King Root won't work. Um, but uh, basically, if you follow this guy step by step, you should be able to do it if you're on 5.1.1 Verizon Note 4. And thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, unlock your bootloader. Don't forget to donate to, I think, XC user Boo Up. Um, he's the guy who offered this free uh, unlock tool for everybody. He didn't try to charge anybody. Um, so definitely buy him a beer, like five bucks, you know. I'll have a donate link to him in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. It took me like a few days to make this video. 
because I have to redo the parts, redo the parts. I try to make it simple for you guys so you guys can do it in one step. It actually took me 10 tries to get it right. And I did a bunch of more times to make a flawless tutorial for you guys. That's pretty much it. Have a great day. I'll have the Dr. Keaton ROM on my Verizon Note 4 next. I know a lot of you guys want to turn your Verizon Note 4 into S7 Edge. Um, so we'll take a look here soon. Uh, have a great day. Go Warriors, and as always, I'll stay on a hand drive. Click here to subscribe.